and they're going to get one lap before they turn them loose here at Langley Speedway with Nick Smith, Greg Edwards up front. Got a feeling we're going to see a great race. As like Chuck was saying, the track has cooled off just a bit. So who qualified well earlier in the day when the track was hotter might not be as fast during the race. We'll have to wait and see. They line up side by side. Dave Terrell, our pace truck driver, wheels them around the racetrack one more time at a slow pace before they get into the fastest pace of the night when they first begin. Comsur Verizon Wireless and its AIM night here at the races. The Aviation Institute of Maintenance. Pace truck is in. The green flag is in the breeze. We're underway for the second time in 2014 for the NASCAR Wheeling All-American Series late model stock cars. Nick Smith down low, up on the pole, gets a good bite, maintains the lead, and here is Matt Waltz on his back bumper to the inside of Greg Edwards as they fight it out for the second spot. One lap completed. Greg Edwards tucks back in line behind Matt Waltz in the two, who slips just a bit at the exit of turn two. Casey White on the outside of the 91 of Justin Carroll. They battle it out for fifth place. Casey gets him. Casey White up to fifth. Justin Carroll back into the sixth position. And the 46, Brandon Godovic. Then you got the two teammates, the Dunkin' Donuts ride. Danny Edwards trying to get on the inside of the 55. And Mark Wirtz. Actually, that's Wirtz on the inside. Danny on the outside. 77, Connor Hall trying to mount a challenge on Danny Edwards now in the 56. As up front, it is Nick Smith, Matt Waltz, Greg Edwards, Terry Carroll, and Casey Wyatt, top five. Danny got stuck on the outside, dropped a few positions. Danny Edwards back behind the 77. And here goes Matt Waltz to the inside of the 11 for the lead. Side by side, they drag race down the front straight away. Matt Waltz in front, takes the lead away from Nick Smith. Nick Smith, he tried to dive in the turn just a little bit to mount a challenge back on the two of Matt Waltz. Now he finds himself about a half a car length off the back bumper. Now a car length behind Matt Waltz, who leads this event. Matt Waltz, first time he has led here at Langley this year. Of course, this is the second race of the season. Six laps into it. It is Matt Waltz, Nick Smith, Greg Edwards, Terry Carroll, and Casey Wyatt. Greg Edwards, the 97-3, the Eagle Machine, now closing up on the inside of the 11. And Nick Smith gives him a little bit of a bump between one and two. Shoots on the inside, halfway past him. Now he was door to door between three and four. Greg Edwards trying to come to the front. Eight laps into it, Greg makes the pass on the 11 of Nick Smith. Nick back to third after beginning the race in the top spot and a spin between one and two. There's the six and the nine of Rodney Boyd. Caution flag is out. Devon Amos in the six and the nine of Rodney Boyd get together to bring out our first caution flag. It comes out here on lap eight. Rodney Boyd in the nine and the six, one of the rev racing machines getting into it. Devon Amos. Front end caved in on the nine, Rodney Boyd, as he comes in to the attention of his crew. Six. Still rolling. Some pressure. It looks like they may be putting some air in the right rear. Going underneath, taking a look at the suspension a little bit, or something on the back end of the 56 for Danny Edwards. Greg Edwards going to try the cone roll. He goes to the outside. He'll be right next to the two of Matt Waltz. 46, Brandon Godovic. He's going to try it on the outside. Along with 55 of Mark Wirtz. Danny Edwards went into the pits. He's back at the rear of the field to the outside of the 92. It's going to be the 64, Rick Godovic. The 91 right behind, Casey Wyatt. That is Justin Carroll. Then 77 of Connor Hall. Back underway, green flag flies here on lap number eight. Nine is up next. Matt Waltz gets a good start. Greg caught on the high side. Nick Smith underneath the 46. Brandon Godovic is there along with 
the 90 of Terry Carroll having a great run tonight up there in the top five. Qualified good, too. Can't wait to see his in-car camera from Team Racing Videos. Casey White all over the back end, almost making it three wide at the exit of two. Thinks better about it. Tucks back in line behind Terry Carroll. To his outside, it is Mark Wirtz, the Dunkin' Donuts 55. Oh, a little bit of contact here as Terry Carroll in the 46 made some contact. Now it's Casey Wyatt trying to get to the inside of Terry. Gives him a little bit of a bump there between three and four. A lot of action here in the lane model stock car division. Casey Wyatt pushes the 90 sideways. He slips up the racetrack. It's going to bring out the caution flag. Two cars go down low in the ditch and in the water. Looks like the 91 of Justin Carroll, the 77 of Connor Hall. Two other cars involved. That is the 64 of Rick Adobic. Terry Carroll gets moving again. 11 laps completed. They were getting tight over there for that position, racing hard. And there's the 77 of Connor Hall. He got involved in this. Our second caution flag comes out on lap 11. Contact between the 92.9, the wave car of Casey Wyatt and the 90 of Terry Carroll. 91. Justin Carroll is in the pits. Rodney Boyd back on pit road. The 90 of Terry Carroll has parked it for the minute. Ready to turn them loose. We got a couple of cars that decided to use the cone. That's the 11, Nick Smith, 55, Mark Wirtz, and three wide a little bit further back, the 46 of Brandon Godovic. And they battle for the lead. Nick Smith, he slips a little bit. Greg Edwards goes underneath, makes the pass. He's up to second again. It is going to be Matt Waltz and Greg Edwards across the line. Then Nick Smith, Mark Wirtz, Brandon Godovic, as he has a challenge to his inside. It's Casey Wyatt's 92. Down the back straightaway, it is Matt Waltz who leads by two and a half car lengths over the Greg Edwards Eagle Machine. Danny's Glass on the hood. The 11 Town Bank, number 11, Nick Smith in third spot. Then the Dunkin' Donuts 55 of Mark Wirtz. Brandon Godovic, top five in the 46. Then Casey Wyatt, the 92. Paige Decker having a great race in the two. Just ahead of Danny Edwards. Devin Amos back up to ninth and Connor Hall in the 77. Running as a rookie this year, Connor Hall in 10th, Justin Carroll, the 91. Terry Carroll back on the racetrack after the repairs that were done to his 90. He's back underway. Terry at the rear of the field. Casey Wyatt working over the 46 of Brandon Godovic. Gets to his inside, down the back straightaway. The nose of his car underneath the rear fender. Casey's there, 46, trying to block him. The wind stacks 46, Brandon Godovic. 
Casey again working that inside halfway up next to him that time in the middle of the turn. These guys had a great race the last time they were out. Casey White again gets up to the inside of the 46 of Brandon Godovic between turns one and two. They battle it out for fifth. Casey on the bottom, Brandon up high. Now next to each other, door to door between turns three and four as Matt Walsh, Greg Edwards, Nick Smith, and Mark Wirt stay ahead of these guys. Casey White doing battle with Brandon Godovic. Still racing hard with him now, door to door between the back straightaway now. As far as their speed on the chart, just about dead even as they are on the racetrack. If you look out the window and see them, Casey White, 92.9 the wave, late model stock car, doing all he can to get ahead. The two just behind Paige Decker, Danny Edwards, Devon Admos, and uh, Devon right there in the six has recovered well after that spin on the first caution flag. Brandon Godovic was hanging tough there on the outside with Casey. They still battle it out down the back straightaway. 46 and 92. They battle for the fifth position. Great race between these two. A lot of action here in the late model stock car division. 21 laps completed. A little bit further back, Justin Carroll trying to do battle with the 77 gets by Connor Hall. And the battle rages on for fifth between Casey down low, Brandon on the outside in the 46. Now, if Casey slips, Brandon is in trouble. Brandon for the minute, hanging tough on the high groove, which is hard to do here at Langley. He's got a fast race car. Mark Wirtz all over the back end of Page in the two car. Right behind these two racing it out. Brandon Godovic keeps the momentum going up with the high side at the exit of the turns. Casey White has to pinch his car down the racetrack a little bit but still maintains good speed as they remain door to door, lap after lap. 25 laps about to come up in lights. Just about a quarter of a way through this 100 lap event. Casey gets back behind the 46 of Brandon Godovic. Casey realized they were losing ground to those cars ahead so they can get back up to speed here. Nose to tail a lot faster. Casey into the back end of the 46 just a bit. Casey might try him on the outside, you never know. Matt Waltz leads, Greg Edwards, Nick Smith, Mark Wirtz, and Brandon Godovic, the top five. Casey Wyatt, Paige Decker, Danny Edwards, Devon Amos, Justin Carroll. Mark Wirtz hanging tough in the 55 in fourth position ahead of this battle between the 46 and 92. And there's Danny Edwards trying to get by that two of Paige Decker. Danny Edwards driving the backup machine for Mark Wirtz while he gets his car ready for racing. Terry Carroll goes a lap down in the 90 as both Matt Waltz and Greg Edwards get by. Matt Waltz with three victories last year. Casey White trying again on the 46 to the inside. These guys showing a lot of patience and sportsmanship as they race each other. Brandon Godovic in the 92, Casey White. The two and the 56, same deal. Paige Decker and Danny Edwards. Danny down on the bottom of the racetrack. A little bit of contact made there between three and four as Danny got into that rear fender just a minute. 31 laps completed. Rodney Boyd back on the racetrack, but several laps down. The CMP number nine, not up to speed. Matt Waltz, Greg Edwards, Nick Smith, Matt, uh, Mark Wirtz, Brandon Godovic, they're the top five. And Casey Wyatt, Paige Decker, Danny Edwards, Devon Amos, Justin Carroll in 10th. Connor Hall, 11th. Terry Carroll is 12th. Rick Godovic is 13th, but looks like Rick might be out. Jeremy Grog also at the 83. And Rodney Boyd still in this race, but several laps down. He's about 20 laps down. Casey again, trying to get up there into the top five. Top five always looks a little bit better than a top 10. Casey working it down on the bottom of the racetrack. There's a slower car just ahead. That is Terry Carroll. Little contact made between 
The 56 and the two, and now once again, the 92 and 46 battle it out. Brandon Godovic trying to hang on to a top five. Casey trying to take it away. Lap after lap, these guys have raced side by side. Some great racing here at Langley. Same deal with Danny Edwards trying to get past that two of Paige Decker. The nine of Rodney Boyd, front right fender has come off. He comes into the pits to get that torn away and get back out there and make up some laps. Casey Wyatt seeing that 90 just ahead and the 46 Brandon Godovic uses the 90 as a pick. They'll both scoot to the outside of Terry Carroll. A little bit of contact here. The 91 trying to save it. He does. Justin Carroll in the two of Paige Decker. After Danny Edwards was able to get by in the 56. Now the two in the six. Paige Decker on the outside. Devin Amos down on the bottom. In the 77 of Connor Hall. Casey Wyatt doing a great battle again. There's the nine. Rodney Boyd staying to the bottom of the racetrack as the faster cars go by on the high side. These guys have raced all race long, door to door. Couple of scrape ups, but Casey finally makes the pass. He's up to fifth in the 92.9 The Wave Machine. 40 laps completed by Matt Waltz, Greg Edwards in second, Nick Smith, Mark Wirtz, and now Casey Wyatt in fifth. Casey had to work for that one, didn't he? <laughs> Great race in action at Langley. We've got 59 laps to go. Now Brandon Godovic trying to get on the inside of Casey. They continue to race for this fifth position. Terry Carroll, he gets passed by the 56 of Danny Edwards. Matt Waltz, he is working a lap 42. As he works some lap traffic just ahead. Greg Edwards back about eight to nine car lengths behind the two of Mad Waltz. Full straightaway back, you'll find the 11 of Nick Smith, who's in third spot. Mark Wirtz about a straightaway back behind Nick in fourth. And then about the same distance back to Casey Wyatt, who's in fifth. Brandon Godovic once again, about a half a car length off his back bumper. Danny Edwards, he's about 10 car lengths back behind Brandon in the 56 and seven. Justin Carroll, the 91 remaining on the racetrack on the lead lap so far after he got caught up in that wreck on lap 11. I'll tell you what, Casey Wyatt and Brandon Godovic have given us a lot to look at all night long as they continue to race hard and heavy for that top five. Casey Wyatt with 92.9 The Wave from Newport News. He also has Art Newsome Heating and Air, Joe's Auto Parts, Skater Graphics, and Wyatt Homes. Brandon Godovic, who's continued to race with Casey all night long with American Messaging, Winstacks, Comser, Verizon Wireless. And there's our leader, the two, Matt Waltz. Matt, 24 years old from Newport News, three wins last year. Waltz engineered sales, Davcon. He's got Phil Forbes and Multi Forbes, Reed and Barton and the Carmine family helping him out on that Chevrolet that continues to lead. Greg Edwards, who's in second, 97-3, the Eagle. Danny's Glass, fair distributing for the Percocin Virginia driver. 42 years old with three track championships here at Langley Speedway. 2006, 2012, and 1998 for Greg, who's in second. There is the 11 of Nick Smith, who's... Make that the 77 of Connor Hall, who's about to be passed by the 97 of Greg Edwards. Teammate to Nick Smith, the 77 of the car he drove last year. Ooh, there's a little contact there being made by Brandon Godovic, who got into Casey Wyatt, pushed him up the racetrack at the exit of the four. They continue to battle it out down the back straightaway. Brandon Godovic on the inside as the Nine of Rodney Boyd goes up in smoke, comes down into the pits. Brandon Godovic working on the inside of Casey White again for fifth. Danny Edwards watching these two and closing in. And it looks like he's a little bit faster than both these guys at this point in the race. 
Of course, they've been racing each other door to door all race long. And again, Godovic down on the bottom of the racetrack pulls ahead of Casey Wyatt in the 92. He's back up to fifth. Now here goes Danny Edwards working on Casey, trying to take six away. 53 laps completed. The biggest battle on the racetrack right now is between Brandon Godovic, Casey Wyatt, and Danny Edwards as they race for fifth, sixth, and seventh. Med Waltz about a full straightaway behind. That is the leader of the race behind these guys. The last race the late models had, there were only three cars on the lead lap at the end of that one. Here goes your leader, Ned Waltz, then Greg Edwards. A lot of distance separates second to third, and also, of course, the lead back to Greg in the 97 for second. Mad Waltz makes his way across the line right now. Then you've got Greg Edwards going across now. And the 11 of Nick Smith right now. So that is a good sample of how far they are separated if you're listening to this. 46 Brandon Godovic, 92, and the 56 get by. That is fifth, sixth, and seventh. Mark Wirtz in the 55 and fourth. As we are 58 laps into it, 59 about to go up in lights. Med Waltz once again, three victories last year. Did a very good job. Finished second in the points. Last year's points. Actually, uh, Matt Waltz was third in the points last year. C.E. Falk got the championship. Nick Smith was second in the points. Matt Waltz, Greg Edwards, and Casey Wyatt, top five from last year. Coming into tonight's event, Greg Edwards came in as the leader with that one victory over Matt Waltz, Nick Smith, Brandon Godovic, and Casey Wyatt. Terry Carroll, six in the points. Mark Works, who is currently fourth in the race, came into tonight's event seventh. He's going to move up. Justin Carroll, Danny Edwards, Rick Godovic in the top ten for the points so far. Coming into tonight's event, but it is only the second race of the season. And these guys don't care about points. They care about wins. And so far, it looks like the two of Matt Waltz is in the best shape to get his this year. Greg Edwards, once he got out front, the last race we had, and we didn't have any cautions for a long time, was able to capitalize on that and get the victory in the 97-3, the Eagle card. Currently finds himself back in second and hoping for a caution flag. Sixty-three laps out of a hundred. Another Pepsi Grand Stock race coming up after this. Another 20 lappers. They do twins tonight. The Bojangles and Duros will cap off the evening with a 30 lap race. It is the NASCAR Wheeling All American Series late model stock cars. 65 laps about to come up in lights as Matt Waltz leads by a long shot over Greg Edwards, Nick Smith, Mark Wirtz, and Brandon Godovic. Then Casey Wyatt, Danny Edwards, Justin Carroll, Paige Decker, Devon Atmos, and Connor Hall, 11. Terry Carroll, 12. Cars out of this event include Rodney Boyd, Rick Adovic, and Jeremy Graw. The 91 Justin Carroll has recovered very well after that wreck he had. He got caught up in the wreck involving Casey Wyatt, Terry Carroll, Connor Hall. Two teammates side by side for the second there. There's the 11 of Nick Smith getting by Connor Hall, running for the rookie of the year in the 77, his teammate. Matt Waltz of Newport News, 24 years old in this race. Waltz engineered sales and Davcon on his Chevrolet. So these guys and uh, ladies that were racing out here tonight for Rev Racing, doing a great job adapting to Langley Speedway, this slightly banked .396 oval here in Hampton, Virginia. Lap number 70 about to come up. The Toyota number six, the Paige Decker, Devon Adam, uh, Amos in the six gets past. Paige Decker's in the two. And she is in ninth, Devin Amos 
is in 10th in the six. Danny Edwards gets passed by our leader, and we have a good race here between the 77 and the six. Connor Hall and Devon Amos for the 10th position. Rev racing number six, Toyota staying ahead of Connor Hall. Connor with a lot of experience in Langley, just not behind the wheel of a late model stock car. Casey White about to go a lap down. Casey currently in sixth position. And Matt Waltz setting a very, very fast pace. Goes to the outside of Casey. Waltz Engineered Sales number two in the front. Devin Amos, pretty impressive keeping Connor Hall right behind him. For that 10th position, Terry Carroll shown in 12th in the 90. And Terry caught up in that wreck with Casey earlier in lap 11. 25 laps to go for Matt Waltz, Greg Edwards second, Nick Smith. Top three, then Mark Wirtz and Brandon Godovic, the top five. Casey Wyatt, Danny Edwards, Justin Carroll, Paige Decker, Devin Amos still trying to hold off the 77 for 10th. Connor closing in on the back bumper, now looking on the inside at the exit of turn number four. Aviation Institute of Maintenance here at Langley Speedway, a company that began in Norfolk in 1969 with a tradition of excellence and education throughout the expansion of aviation career schools for more than four decades. Sponsoring tonight's races here at Langley, 77 laps up. Danny Edwards trying to get by Casey Wyatt for sixth position. Danny closing up on the back bumper in between the turns. Casey trying to get a good bite at the exit of two down the back straightaway. This battle right here is what separates first and second. Matt Waltz about 10 car lengths ahead of Casey, who's back there in the sixth position, battling with Danny Edwards for that sixth spot. Then it's about seven to eight car lengths back to Greg Edwards, who's currently in second in the 97. laps to go for Matt Waltz. Matt was fast all year last year and won three races. He's fast again this year. Great battle continues between that six and the 77. Paige Decker, tell you what, doing a great job for never to be at Langley before. And up there in the top 10, holding off. Devin Amos, Connor Hall, this battle. Devin in the six. There's about 20 car lengths between the six and the two, who's just ahead, the two rev racing machines. Greg Edwards goes around the 56. That's his brother, Danny. Danny's still working on that 26, trying to get that Danny's glass ride out here. Mark Wirtz having a great run tonight up there in the top four. Dunkin' Donuts 55, Mark Wirtz. Brandon Godovic is back a full straightaway off the back bumper of Mark Wirtz. And currently in fifth, he and Casey Wyatt had a battle lap after lap side by side and showing good sportsmanship, staying off each other. Casey was out there in front of Brandon for a while. Then Brandon was able to fight back and get the move. And the two Max Media teammates right here together, the 92.9 the Wave and the 97.3 the Eagle cars. Now between turns one and two, Casey has been put a lap down. Brandon Godovic is in jeopardy of going a lap down. He is up there in the top five.
We've had some great racing tonight, but once I tell you, once these cars got strung out, started the race with 15. Mad Walt showing the way. Walking the dog on Greg Edwards, the 97-3, the Eagle car in second, the 11 of Nick Smith, third spot. Mark Wirtz, fourth in the 55, and Brandon Godovic about to go a lap down in the 46 to the hands of the two. Full straightaway car length advantage over the second place driver, Greg Edwards for Matt Waltz. ComServe Verizon Wireless late model stock cars and Matt Waltz showing the way from Newport News. Waltz engineered sales, Davcon, Phil Forbes and Mookie Forbes, Reed and Barton and the Carmine family. Very proud of the Chevrolet and the driver, Matt Waltz. Matt started the race third spot this evening, worked his way up. Got past Greg Edwards and Nick Smith. The winner of the race last week, or the last time these late models ran, Greg Edwards has not led a lap tonight. Currently shown in seventh, uh, second position. Med Waltz once again. Just a few laps to go as he gets to the inside of Brandon Godovic, the win stacks 46. He has lapped everybody except for the top four. Med Waltz out there in that clean air again here at Langley Speedway with lap 95 up in lights, five laps to go. Ninety-six laps completed. Matt Waltz leads Greg Edwards, Nick Smith, and Mark Works, the only drivers on the lead lap. Those cars that have gone a lap down, Brandon Godovic in fifth, in sixth, Casey Wyatt, seventh, Danny Edwards, eighth, Justin Carroll, ninth, Paige Decker, tenth, Devin Amos, eleventh, Connor Hall, Terry Carroll, twelfth, Rodney Boyd, out of the race in thirteenth, Rick Godovic is out in the sixty-four and fourteenth, and Jeremy Grog in the eighty-three, out of the race in fifteenth. Three laps to go for Matt Waltz. Matt Waltz with a couple of guys racing hard just ahead. Devin Amos and Connor Hall, the 77 and the 6. They know the leader's coming. Low contact as the 6 goes up high on the racetrack with a leader right behind. They maintain control. One lap to go for Matt Waltz. That was a scary moment for Matt. Checkered flag about to be displayed. And for the first time in 2014, it's going to go to Matt Waltz, who wins in the two. Matt Waltz wins in second. It's the 97-3, the Eagle car of Greg Edwards. Nick Smith, he will finish in the third position in car 11. Top three, Matt Waltz, Greg Edwards, Nick Smith. Then Mark Wirtz, the 55 in fourth. Brandon Godovic in fifth in the 46. Casey Wyatt, the 92.9, the wave car in sixth. Danny Edwards, 56, Dunkin' Donuts Machine and Danny's Glass in seventh. Justin Carroll, the 91 is in eighth. Paige Decker, the two, fins, finishes in ninth and fins off Connor Hall in the 77, who was able to get by Devin Amos at the end. Then you got Terry Carroll, the 90 and 12th. Rodney Boyd, the 9, 13th. Rick Godovic and Jeremy Grog. But Matt Waltz wins in the two. For the second late model race of the season, and he takes that black and blue and white number two to the Dale Lemons victory lane. And here's Chuck. Ladies and gentlemen, he drives the number two. Give it up for the winner. Here's Matt Waltz right there. Yep. Tire temperatures being done on the car here. Number two, some cool, refreshing Aquafina water in a hot race here tonight. <laughs> First off, congratulations, new winner 2014. And it seems like uh, you three guys, Greg and, and Nick and you, and you, man, you've been, you've been working out here hard to get this car fast. And boy, tonight it was fast. Yeah, you know, I got to thank all these guys for all the hard work today, you know, um, really made it happen. I thought we had a good car. I came out yesterday testing and stuff and um, just tried to make sure we didn't chase the racetrack today and it worked out for us. So. Uh, just really happy for everybody, happy to get back in victory lane and for the first time here in 2014. Hope we can do a lot more 
And um, just definitely want to wish all the fans happy Easter and uh, glad all y'all came out after the rain, you know, rain all day. So, but um, definitely got to thank Walt's Engineered Sales, uh, Davcon Incorporated, Phil Forbes, Attorney of the Law, uh, Creech Motorsports, Banks Racing Engines, uh, J2 Performance. <laughs> Uh, somebody, somebody said something else. What was that? Uh, no, yeah, Dab gone. I already mentioned him. All right. <clears throat> Did we make a good call today? Because a lot of people were saying, maybe you should have called this race. But I said, hey, if it's not going to rain, we're a racetrack, and you race at a racetrack. Good call? Yeah, good call. You're my best buddy. <laughs> I think it was a great call. Um, just like I said, just glad everybody still came out. And, uh, you know, it's a good day. Well, guess what we got for you? Our friends from AIM, Aviation Institute of Maintenance, has a winning trophy for our most recent winner, driver number two, Matt Waltz, everybody, right there in Victory Lane.